Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming my pregnancy update for weeks 32 through 34. Couple of disclaimers. One, I'm doing laundry. If you can hear it, I apologize, but I, I, I've been putting it off and I couldn't put it off anymore. And then second disclaimer is, I think I mentioned, I don't know, maybe I just wrote it in the description bar. I'm not sure. In my last video that I was going to film my 32 and 33 week because I've been doing every two weeks it wouldn't be the full two weeks because of Christmas and we were going to be gone but I was still going to upload it yeah that didn't happen <laughs> I had nothing to update you guys on everything had been everything had been the same and sorry I my phone's on loud because John has to call me in a second Everything has been the same. I had no nothing to update you guys on. And so I was like, well, what's the point of filming a video? And I just had a lot of stuff to get ready before we left to go home for the holidays. And it just didn't happen. And then I was home for a week because I stayed longer for my shower. And then I came home and I had a ton of stuff to do for the baby. I've been, I ordered stuff on Amazon. So it's just coming in and I'm trying to just get everything done. So I'm not doing it totally last minute. And so I'm finally sitting down for this, but I have a few things to update you on. Still not a lot, but better than literally nothing. And then I also have some things that I've bought. So I'm just going to jump on into it. First, all of these are so bad. Like I have no positive symptoms at all. These are just all so bad, but that's kind of what the third trimester is, is just really bad symptoms. So first one is out of breath. I said this in my last one and it's just gotten worse as you can tell i'm sorry if it's super annoying i the second i say something i'm already like oh my gosh and i went to the doctor and i just got up on the bed like on the exam table and i was like oh my gosh this is ridiculous and i was like i feel absolutely stupid but i mean you can't they're just so squished now the second one is i've actually been having acid reflux and it hasn't been every night or every day, but definitely a few times. And there was one one night when it was really bad. Like I almost left my parent, my uh, my in-laws' house to go to the store to go get it at like three in the morning because I thought I could, I wasn't gonna be able to sleep. Um, but it's just it doesn't like burn or anything. It just feels like I need to burp all the time i've never had acid reflux so i assume that's what this is it what this is if this sounds wrong <laughs> please tell me because again i've never had i've never had to experience acid reflux but it felt like i needed a burp and when i would it was kind of this is so gross but it was kind of like foamy and there were a couple of times when i would try and i would almost throw up and so and the only thing that helped was if i slept sitting up like i slept i went downstairs and slept on their couch because two ends like recline and so I slept sitting up and it was the only thing that gave me some relief and that happened a couple of times it was only really bad that one time so I haven't had it had it since really um I don't know if I ate something that day that made it worse I really don't know but it was bad um the second one is bad lower back pain and it's when I wake up and I think I've kind of figured out why, and I think I've kind of figured out how to fix it, but I'm still kind of experimenting. But when I was in my in-laws house, John and I were sleeping in our brother's bed because they don't, they don't have enough beds, so he sleeps on the couch when people are in town. Um, and I would wake up and try and get out of bed and I physically could not bend over because like the lower half of my back hurt so bad. Like I can't even, <laughs> I can't even tell you how bad it hurt. And like I would try and I would like get tears in my eyes because it just hurt so bad. And it would loosen up throughout the morning and by the afternoon it was fine. But man, those first few hours in the morning were brutal. And I was like, I have to do something. Like if this is how it's gonna be, I can't <laughs> I can't do this every day until she's here. Like it sounds it's awful. And so I just tried sleeping with a pillow between my legs, which I do sometimes if I my back already hurts by the end of the night. Sorry for the burping. I'm trying not to. It's really gross. Pregnancy is so beautiful. Um, but I was sleeping with a pillow. And I, like I said, I wasn't doing it every night. I was just doing it like if my back hurt by the end of the day. 
but I tried doing it because my, my brother-in-law has like 20 pillows on his bed and I don't know why. But I did that and it actually helped. I mean, I was still sore, but it, I could bend over in the morning and it was fine. And so I've been doing that and there was one, or it was when I came back, I took a nap after I got back from driving because I was so tired and I didn't do it. And it was only like an hour nap. I woke up and I had that back pain and I didn't sleep with the pillow in between my legs. So I've been doing it and I, I mean, like I said, I still get sore, but it's not nearly as bad. So I think that's been helping it. Like I said, I'm still experimenting to see if that's actually what's helping or if it's something else. But next thing is rib pain. <laughs> she will lodge herself in my ribs or kick them or i don't know if it's her feet in my ribs her head i have no idea her butt whatever it is it hurts and i can't sit like normally not even hunched over like i just can't sit like i have to like lean back and like make myself as long as possible and try and make as much room as possible she'll eventually move out but it hurts and people are like what are you doing and i'm like I, I, she's in my ribs and I can't, I can't sit like this. It's really, it's very painful. And then the last symptom is cervix pain. Now, again, this is my first pregnancy, so I don't really know anything. So if this is wrong, you can tell me. Be nice, but you can tell me in the comments. And I don't know if I'm dilating slowly, not like I don't think I'm in labor or anything. I know I'm not in labor actually, but, um, but sometimes you dilate over the last month or so very slowly. Like you can be at a one or a two or even a three. My mom was at a three for five weeks. Like you can stay at your <laughs> cervix size. So I'm not really getting too excited, but I get sharp pains where I think my cervix is. And it's just a couple of times a day. Like I said, it might not be anything. It just might be her kicking something or just pains in general. Um, but that's definitely it like it makes me catch my breath and I'm like oh man that really hurt and then still Braxton Hicks but I mean what that's just that's just gonna get worse I don't even feel like I should talk about that like I said that was it for symptoms so I did have my maternity photos um over the holidays we ha we did them on the 23rd and I had a vision I wanted a few that were casual and the casual ones were just of me john didn't really have anything that i wanted him to wear with me and i didn't want him to buy anything just for these photos and so i just did a few casual ones that were just by myself with jeans heeled boots and like a sweater but then the other ones it was by the same person but the same day too but my real vision was i wanted very glam maternity photos and probably because I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna care as much for the next kids and so I was like this is my one chance and I just had an idea and ever since I got pregnant I knew I wanted them done right near Christmas time because Christmas is my favorite and 23rd is actually John and I's anniversary so that worked out and I just had a vision to me wearing an like a full-length gown and John wearing a suit and my hair done makeup done everything and it they turned out awesome. I'll insert a couple here. But they were amazing. And this sounds so cheesy, but I just felt so great. I mean, the dress was a little tighter, but I don't mean like comfortable. I just mean like I felt so, I guess beautiful. I'm sorry. <laughs> and more like myself than I have since I got pregnant just because I mean I don't even dress nice all the time anyways even before I got pregnant but you're just really inhibited on what you can wear and you don't want to wear super nice super fitting clothes because it's just not comfortable I mean even if if you are props to you like you have no I don't even know but I just felt really nice and that's that's the whole point of maternity photos is to be able to look back and just be really happy with how you looked and this is a time where even if you don't feel beautiful you are doing an amazing and beautiful thing and so if you can feel beautiful while doing that amazing beautiful thing then that's great and so I was very happy with them I haven't gotten them all back yet and I haven't got any back of the ones that were just me in the casual outfit but those were the ones I have and so 
I was I was so happy with them. John was happy with them. They were they were great. So I do not regret that at all. And my the dress that I wore in that was from Rent the Runway. If you have any questions or if you want like a hair tutorial or a makeup tutorial, I didn't do anything crazy. I did my own both hair and makeup. Um, I can try and do that for you. Again, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not a hairdresser, so I don't. I just kind of do whatever. But if that's something that anybody's interested in, if, there, if you have maternity photos coming up, I would love to do that if you need it. And I also had my shower. And the reason I'm telling you this is, one, because the things I'm showing you today that have been purchased, I have not purchased anything for myself or for the baby at all in these this month or these three weeks or whatever it is. I'm not entirely sure. Three weeks. Yes, three weeks. But everything I'm going to mention was a gift or I guess a few things were purchased by me um, that were just for me. Like they don't really have any purpose for the baby. I mean kind of, but not really. They're mainly for me. And so I'm going to show you those, but I'm going to do a whole separate video. And I'm, it's, gonna take, it's not going to be for a few days because I'm still waiting on stuff to get um, sent to me. But I, we had our shower. And then we also, I bought everything else on my registry because some things didn't get bought. And so I'm planning on doing a whole video of what we were given and what we bought to prepare for her because we're in the home stretch and we're, I'm literally just nesting like every day. Like I'm, like I washed her clothes yesterday and got them all hung up in her bedding and any blankets. And so, and we get more stuff in the mail in a few days. And so... I'm planning on doing a whole other video when all of that stuff comes in the mail. But the stuff, I'll show you what was given to me first. So the first thing, I had actually two of these, but one of them was in the wash. It was a gift from my mom for Christmas. I guess it wasn't for my shower. But I asked for these were um, nursing bras and more sleep ones. I have one on that is a underwire, which is fine, especially if you're wearing something that you can't really wear, like a sleep nursing bra. But in the first few weeks after a baby and you're learning to breastfeed and the baby's learning to breastfeed, that's kind of the last thing you want is something super constricting and that's not comfortable. And my other one, it's okay. I mean, it's pretty comfy, but it's more fitted too so that you can wear it out and you don't really feel like you're totally exposed. So I really need something to take to the hospital that's super soft. It's a sleep nursing bra and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be comfortable in it and there's not any underwire. So it looks like this this it kind of is coming off purple it's more like a bluish gray color but this then i have a like a cream colored one too and this is from the where the heck is it there this is from the brand kindred bravely and they i think they might just make nursing bras maybe they don't maybe they make other bras too i'm not entirely sure um, but these are super soft, really comfortable. I got a medium just for when my milk comes in, just because my boobs haven't really gotten any bigger in this pregnancy. And sometimes they don't for women and it's until, uh, sometimes they don't for women and they don't get bigger until their milk comes in. And so it kind of seems like that might be the case for me. So I wanted to make sure I had extra room for when that does happen. And especially even if it's not, even if it's a little looser i mean it's not that loose like it's not noticeable you just feel more comfortable especially again sleeping so it just looks like this maybe just looks like this and you just fold down and fold down and they're really nice I, like i said i got the gray one and then the ivory color and then for myself okay yeah and then i got my breast pump so i really struggled with deciding if i was going to get an electric one my insurance sucks and is only covering one manual breast pump and i was just like what and some people say get it anyways but my car like for when you're in the car and you don't have an outlet my car actually has an outlet in it like an actual plug-in and so if I really needed to, I could whip this baby out and pump in my car. So I got the Spectra S2. And I 
like I said, I really struggled with if I was going to get a breast pump because I'm not going back to work. I'm just going to be a stay home mom for this next foreseeable future. And I'm very fortunate enough to be able to make that decision. And John and I are very fortunate enough to make that decision. And so I didn't really need it, but I've also heard one, she's going to be babysat, like, or I'm going to go out with my friends and John's going to watch her and obviously he can't breastfeed her. So I, there was that. And then I've heard a lot of women say, and I, I don't know why, but I'm trying to be proactive about not having enough milk or it coming in slowly or what have you, just because I really want to make breastfeeding work. Um, and I know that sometimes there's just reasons you can't and that's okay but I really want to try and I really want to be successful at it just because that's just what I envision being able to do for my baby. And so everybody's different and if you don't want to, there's that's totally fine. Every like I said, everybody's different and everybody has a different vision of motherhood and being a new mom. So, breastfeeding is definitely at the top of my list. And I've heard some women say that they did this to up it up their supply when it was kind of coming in slowly or if they didn't have enough which isn't very common but sometimes it can happen and it just made it easier like if you didn't want to wake up one night your husband could go warm up some milk and feed them at nighttime just to take off that extra pressure of you and so i like i said i really struggled with it and i kept seeing ones like the medela one the i can't even remember the other brand but they're so expensive and I just was like I, if that was it I was gonna say no I was like it's not worth it 300 bucks or whatever it is it's not worth it to me but I saw someone Erin Williams I think she had this breast pump first off it's super cute like how could you get pink and it's like the perfect color of pink if you can't tell by her nursery and um and I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. I haven't seen that. And so, and I think, and it's called the Spectra S2. I don't know if I already said that. And so I looked it up. This thing was only $117 on Amazon. What? And I understand some women cannot afford this, even though it's way cheaper than the other ones. And I, that's totally fine. But I was just totally shocked. And I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. And I didn't even think about it. I just bought it. I was like, yep, doing it. Well, I, just kidding. I researched it a little bit to make sure it was good. But this is a hospital grade one. This is like it. I've heard people say that the, the suction on this one's way better than the Medela ones. Um, I, yeah. And I kind of messed with it around. I sterilized everything and just turned it on, kind of played with a little, with, with it a little bit. And I really enjoy it in it plugs in I don't think you can do batteries I think that was one complaint is that you can't put batteries in it so you have to have an outlet at all times but I mean if you know you're gonna have to pump I mean my car has it so if I worst came to worst I I'm fine and then you can have a single um pump or you can just have you or you can have a double and it's really nice it has a ton of different vacuum settings a ton of different cycle settings a massage and express expression setting I don't, i'm not entirely sure but i mean i haven't really used it because i'm still pregnant so but i was very happy with it and it came with came with the motor and then it came with two bottles four flanges two 24 millimeter and two 28 ones so you get two sizes i know that i want to say that the modelo one only comes with one size and if that doesn't fit you have to go buy others but they're not that expensive anyways um bottle or nipples bottle caps a backflow protector and then the tubing so and it was super easy to set up and then i just sterilized them so i'm not going to take them out of the bag because i'm trying to keep them clean but very happy with this and i'm excited to be able to use this so somebody else can feed her too because i've heard that's kind of the biggest i guess um, hurdle is just getting over the fact that you're kind of a milk machine and you're, you're just constantly attached to your baby which sounds nice but in the moment kind of sucks and the last thing I bought or nope I have two more two things last thing I bought for myself was natural nipple butter from earth mama angel baby 
for good things. It doesn't smell like anything. It's very natural and I'm pretty sure I read that it's safe. Like I could put it on and if she wants to be it again, she can ingest it and she's totally safe. So there's that. And then this one's very weird, <laughs> but I got this huge five pound bag of dates. Now, if you don't know why a pregnant woman would buy dates, Google it. It helps to soften your cervix and ripen it and make labor go by faster. I don't know if it, if it necessarily induces you, but everybody who I've talked to who's used dates, their labors were quick and their cervix was very soft. Their doctors like complimented them on how soft and ripe their cervix was, which is kind of a weird compliment. But, and you're supposed to eat six of these a day, <laughs> which is so much. Um, starting at 34 or 35 weeks. I'm not entirely sure. I, I just started, so and I'm a day away from 35, so I'm fine. But I got a five pound bag because dates are expensive. I looked at the store and for a tiny box, it's like $7 and this was like 15. I just got this off Amazon, so. And I don't mind dates. If you don't like them, you can put them in smoothies. You can look up recipes because some people don't like dates. And I, this is the first day I did it and I like dates. And I got sick of it with like halfway through the six because I was like, oh my gosh, this is so many dates. But yeah, you're supposed to do six a day every day until you deliver pretty much. So that's a lot, but whatever helps, I'm doing it. <laughs> okay. And then next I'm going to go to what I was given. So this was a Christmas gift actually, but it's the Solly baby wrap. I do not want to untangle this because it takes forever. And I'm still trying to figure out the best way to store this sucker. It has like a little pocket on one of the ends, but that doesn't really work very well. <laughs> so yeah, but I got the blush pink color, I think. It's super cute. Again, my favorite color, if you cannot tell. I am very basic, but I'm very excited about this. We also got just a regular carrier, which I'll show in my other video. That's more for John to use just because he doesn't feel very comfortable using like a wrap, but I am very, determined to use this with her because it just seems so snug and just it's really cute too so and you kind of look back and appreciate the times that you did it so there's that then a friend a really good friend actually from high school she got me these books for my shower she wasn't able to make it but she dropped by after and they are just um i think some of them are devotional some of them aren't for motherhood and if you're not religious, totally fine. You can just skip this part. But I got Treasuring Christ When Your Hands Are Full. And it's Gospel Meditations for Busy Moms. Um, Is that who's the... Oh. These two are by the same author too. So hopefully they're good. <laughs> and then this one is Missional Motherhood, The Everyday Ministry of Motherhood in the Grand Plan of God. And it says there's no... Such thing as just a mom so there's that one and then give them grace dazzling your kids with the love of Jesus and then the last thing that I was given that was kind of for more for me was um, the amazing make ahead baby food book looks like this now another backstory is I am NOT a big organic person I do have a ton of gluten-free food, but that's because I have celiac disease. That's not by choice. Um, I've never really seen or understood the need for organic food. Sometimes if you have dietary issues, that's better. Um, but I've never really been that way, I guess. I don't know. And I... So when I, got, when I registered for this, John was like, what? you're going to make your own baby food? And it's not because, I mean, it is healthier and there's not any added stuff in it because you're making it literally from fruits and vegetables. And so I do enjoy that aspect of it just because there are just some really bad things and some pre-made baby food. I mean, they try and make them healthy, but it's, it's not. And it's honestly just so much cheaper. You don't have to get organic fruits and vegetables to do this. And I'm probably not going to. Like, it, they're fine but you can just make your own and it's just so much cheaper. And so, especially if you get stuff that's in season, so it's not going to be super expensive already. And if you just 
make stuff that's going to be in season for that time it's gonna be way cheaper than trying to buy strawberries in december if that makes any sense so i was really interested and who knows i might try this out and i might hate it but i mean i want to try at least so that was kind of the background of that and why i wanted to do that so and then it also has like storage tips and you can like freeze it in like an ice cube thing it has a lot it has a lot of tips for you so i'm excited about that it's not going to be needed for a few months but that's okay okay that is it for my symptoms and for the things i bought i'll show you my belly and then we will end this video okay here let me try it okay so here's the belly let me pull down my maternity leggings so you can see let me try and pull this tight too <laughs> here's the belly still pretty dang big <laughs> probably just gonna get bigger but this is what it looks like i don't really i still don't have any stretch marks i'm getting some veins right here or my belly button where it's stretching but other than that i'm not really don't have anything but it's definitely getting tight because it's getting very shiny if you can tell <laughs> but yeah she's just growing in there and i couldn't be happier even though it's a little painful <laughs> okay guys that is it for my pregnancy update weeks 32 through 34 i'm sorry that i have not been uploading on my schedule that i thought i was going to but there honestly there's just not that much to update about i i don't want to go back to only once a month because i don't have much longer left so i probably only have one two videos left but i start having my weekly appointments um at 36 weeks so i'm at almost 35 so just a week and hopefully i'll have more updates especially about if i'm dilating or not if she's in the right position stuff like that so just bear with me and i will have a video up with everything we purchased for her and things that we were given for from her shower when every, when everything gets in the mail i think everything's supposed to come within the next week i hope fingers crossed the holidays are kind of making things take a little longer but i will have that up for you guys and then couple of updates and hopefully she'll be here <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed this if you did give it a thumbs up if you like me make sure you subscribe and i'll be back in the next few days with another video bye guys